prediction on what we're going to read about based on what I look like. What am what animal am I? If you guessed frog, you are correct. If you thought that nothing was changed about my face, you are <laughs> So, we have been reading about fish this week and learning about fish. And so I found another book about something that is kind of similar to fish. They both live in the water. Today we're going to be reading about amphibians. Get your frog costume ready, get your salamander suit and let's begin. So this is called Salamander, Frog, and Pollywog. What is an amphibian? And it's written by Brian B. Cleary and illustrated by Martin Gonneau. And again, it's on Get Epic. They have amazing books on here. An amphibian is an animal with a backbone that has no feathers, fur, hair, scales, or claws on its body. <laughs> Amphibians are animals you'll find them near or in, a lake or stream or on dry land, and most of them will have smooth skin. All of them have backbones, and they have no scales or fur, plus they're all cold-blooded, which affects their temperature. Unlike you or me, they have their body temp transformed by what's in their environment, from cool to hot to warm. Amphibians are born from eggs. They don't have any shell. Instead, the eggs are made of something gooey like a gel. When most are born, they breathe through gills beneath the water and, as they get older, they'll grow lungs and spend more time on land. Some have solid colors, Like some have dots. Or stripes. And all around the world, there are a host of different types. Toads are in this class or group. The same is true of frogs. At birth, they're both called tadpoles or sometimes pollywogs. The kids don't look like grown-ups, not even just a tad, when they're first hatched, but over time, they'll look like mom and dad. One type of amphibian looks like a snake or worm. In water, mud, or dirt, it's known to slither, swim, and squirm. There's a lot of S's there. What's it called? What's that figurative language called when you have the same letter with same sound repeated over and over? Slither, swim, squirm. These legless creatures burrow with a head that's blunt and strong and range from just your finger's length to nearly five feet long. Salamanders tend to like the damp and dark to thrive. Their front feet mainly have four toes. Their back feet mostly five. Sometimes one will wave its tail when enemies are near and then escape just as it drops, detaching at the rear. He shakes his tail and then he drops it. Amphibians are awesome. They've survived throughout the ages. For more facts that are riveting, just look in these last pages. So this back of the book had some more animal, some more amphibian facts. So if you want to hear some more amphibian facts, you need to log on to Get Epic and read this last part because I'm not going to read it to you. Cliffhanger. You got to go log on and read them.
and then Another book completed. How many books have y'all read during this time at home? So far I've read, I need to count. I think around seven. Unless we count every book that I've read to you, then I've read 17. Wow, great job, Miss Traco. So your challenge for today is to go find a book on Get Epic or any book. Again, I'm just going to make an easy challenge for you today, and I want you to look up an animal that interests you, okay? Is it a frog? Is it a dog? Is it a, another animal that rhymes with those two words? I don't know. And then tell me about it. I want to know what cool animal you looked up and what did you learn about them. I love you all. I miss you all. I will see you at 2.30 for our next Zoom session.